Hey guys, Matt here. This is my friend Steve. Hey. Most of the island knows, knows him as Dirty Steve, but, but, but I mean, his actual name is Steve, but I mean, you know, it's pretty much known throughout the entire island as Dirty Steve, but, but that's beyond the point. My name is Matt. Normally I'm cycling around the world on a recumbent trike. In this case, we're doing it motor style. Uh, we're in Thailand, a small island in the Gulf of Thailand called uh, Koh Samui. Actually, this is one of the largest islands in the Gulf of Thailand, I would imagine, right? And, uh, my friend Steve here and I have been friends for, for many years, but this is our first time seeing each other in about eight years. He's going to show me around uh, his place, his home. Check it out. We've been here for many years. I'm expecting the coolest spots on the, all coasts. The Hawaii. tour of the tours, right? <laughs> the local tour. The local tour, yeah. Don't mess up. Fight us from around the world. Come up you here. see the smoke over here? Yeah. Up there? Yeah. Yeah, they're burning something. They're burning something. And this is very risky because many times uh, it happened and then it started like a huge fire, like a big fire, and then they got. Wow. Yeah. It's, it's not very dry. Are we in the wet season right now? Or is now, this... now it's the wet season. Now it's the wet season. So you come up here every so often if you want a peaceful getaway yeah, and exactly. think about life. Really quiet. Yeah. How did you find it? I mean, were you exploring or did you hear about it? No, just exploring, just yeah. exploring. Would you would you say that you've probably been on every road in this this whole island oh, by yeah. now? Oh yeah, for yeah. Sure. I had to get off. My fat ass wouldn't allow wouldn't allow us to pro progress up. Is this road is? Oh boy, I'm glad that we're doing this on a motorbike, and we don't have the trike. <laughs> yeah, I literally. I'm walking upstairs right now. <laughs> I've had a family that lives in the islands, in the Caribbean actually. Island life is interesting, you know. Um, it seems wonderful in the very beginning but it can get boring pretty quick, no matter what, you know? Because it's such a small landmass, and uh, if it's, you know, if there's a big distance from the mainland, I mean, here you got ferries, you can go to the mainland any time, but it can go from paradise to a prison pretty quick. So knowing the private areas and exploring your island home is like really important. Steve's been here long enough that he's been able to find the quiet getaway spots, the spots that I mean, I'm sure other people know of this, this area we're going to, but it still is a, a place that is a little bit off the beaten path, quite literally, <laughs> the beaten path. You know, a place where he can find solitude. Because the other thing about living on an island is that the community, although it's tight-knit, it uh, lacks a certain amount of uh, privacy, you know? So you sort of um, feel trapped amongst your friends and your enemies. So finding a, uh, finding a sanctuary, a place that you can kind of say, this is my place, you know, for the most part. This is really important. Do you guys know what these trees are? These trees right here? There's a whole bunch of them all over the place. They have these little buckets that are like taped. They're actually sapping the trees of something. I'm guessing that it's rubber. I would imagine this area would be rife for, uh, rubber trees to grow so they score the tree here you could see that they actually probably score the tree and then put whatever the sap is into this it feels kind of rubbery feels kind of rubbery that's like a ceramic pot it's not really sticky it is sort of like what i would think of the base component of rubber to be look at these trees these are these have long vines that are hanging down from from the canopy but I, I grabbed one and I was expecting it to be brittle holy moly this is like a rubber band it stretches a lot wait very juicy this one is hanging hanging all the way down from the top wow if I was uh, stranded in the jungle 
wow, this would be so useful. You could braid a whole bunch of these together and create a fairly long length of rope, create a tent, do tie downs, hoist your food up into the tree if you wanted with it. All sorts of uses for rope. Keep her occupied. You go ahead, go forward. I don't want her to go under your tires. What is yeah, it? I can ask. I can ask. What is it? Hello, hello, hello. Hey, you. Hello, hello, hello. Wait, 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 wait. What? Wait, 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 wait. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, okay. okay. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, you she also have like me. a bird. She also have birds oh, like really? birds. Oh. We have a little protection squad. <laughs> what the hell is that thing? What is that? Ooh. Is that a spider or something? I think so. I don't want to. Looks touch like it. a cocoon or something. Knowing the language must must be so so valuable. Yeah, just being able to say hello and be cordial yeah. and make your make and a local smile. Are so happy about it. Really so happy. It. If we were in China, I'd be able to like you know like my, my Chinese is invaluable, even though I'm it's pretty rudimentary. It doesn't matter. It's just it's just the best way to like get true feelings from somebody and like tr get the respect, you know. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. That's a nice place, huh? Yeah, it was good. Very good. Good food, too. I'm glad that we we were going to go down and eat food down at the bottom, but I think this was the best. Yeah. Just see the waterfall, hang out. <laughs> All right, boss, now where are we going? <laughs> Take two. Now we're going to Lamai Beach. Lamai Beach. Lamai Beach, yeah. Is this one of your favorite spots? Yeah, also. For yeah. swimming it's kind of good because you have good, really good waves. Okay, okay. Very beautiful. Yeah, you can see it a bit. Yeah, it looks pretty, uh, pretty calm out there today. Yeah. What a good place. He stepped inside just for one meter and then she just... <laughs> yeah, that uh, truck in front of us, it's a uh, dog and cat rescue. They go and feed, uh, feed homeless animals and they try and take care of the dogs and cats that don't have a home. It's kind of neat. 
Uh, we have finished our little tour of Koh Samoy. Had a couple of really nice, nice spots. Some good drone flights. A nice beach. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Steve. You're welcome. You're welcome. Buddies, tomorrow we uh, take off from uh, Koh Samoy and we head to the other side of the island and uh, have one more night on the island and then tomorrow we take a tour. We're gonna do a cycle tour from uh, Koh Samoy all the way to Phuket. Cool stuff.